Hello there. Today I'm going to teach you how to make advanced engine plumes. These plumes are purely visual so they don't actually have any function other than to look really nice. So I'm just going to put up an example of what one might look like. And bear in mind there are many many combinations of different plumes you can do. So as you can see here we have the default rocket, which obviously has the default engine as well and it has this pretty plain Keralox plume. So I want this plume to look different and much more unique. So if you want an example, here's the settings I'm going to be having on my test engine. So to begin with, we're going to be changing the color of the engine plume. First, go into the Tinker panel, click Edit Hidden Properties. Now use the arrows at the top until you get to Rocket Engine. Now scroll down until you see Exhaust Color. You can change this to whatever you want using the RGB format. If you want a more detailed guide of the RGB format, you can see it explained in my short engine plumes video. So to start with, I'm going to be making this first engine more red. Make sure to turn off the engine's white intensity. You can do this by going back into the hidden properties and turning the exhaust white intensity to zero. Remember to hit apply. And now your first engine is colored. Now it's time to begin engine stacking. Duplicate the first engine and then use paint to make the engine invisible. Now you need to move the duplicated engine exactly into the same position as the main engine. Once this is done, we're going to change the color of the now duplicated engine. Just follow the exact same steps as we did for the red engine. This time I'm going to make my engine more blue. This part is once again optional, but I'm going to duplicate the engine a third time. Then I'm going to part scale it down so it's much smaller. And on this one you're going to want to actually put the white intensity to 1 so it's really white. Like last time you're going to want to position this rocket engine where the middle one is. And also temporarily bring it down so it's within the rocket nozzle of the bigger engines. Now in the hidden properties find the exhaust offset. This is where I'd recommend you put the rocket engine back so it's touching the fuel tank. And then keep tweaking the exhaust offset until it's slightly out the big engine's nozzle. I found 40 was the best for my engine, but yours might be different. Now if you test the rocket, you might realise that it will explode because the engines are overheating each other. And there is also another issue that you may not have noticed, but the duplicated engines are also using fuel and are also creating thrust which you may not want. So let's change that. On both of the duplicated engines, go into the hidden properties, go back to rocket engine, and now there's three things you want to edit. First of all, thrust override, change it to zero, this will stop the engine from producing thrust but will still show the plume. Then change mass flow rate to zero, this will stop the engine from consuming fuel. And finally change heat transfer override to zero, this will stop your parts from being heated which will stop them from being exploded. Hopefully with all that useful information you'll be able to make some awesome engine plumes. If you have any further questions ask me in the comments. Otherwise you can join my Discord Space Game Central, there will be a link in the description. And with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.